So I read that you um, financed the, the design of the creature yourself. Yes. Why was that? I mean, did the studio, are they no. more open? They don't want to do like No, I, I wanted, practical? first of all, I wanted, uh, when you pitch the story or you show the story to a studio, uh, you needed to show the creature. Because mm -hmm. when you say, look, they're going to get it on, <laughs> you, they're going to go, what is it going to look like? You know, and then you go, hubba hubba. <laughs> and they go, oh, well, okay, we can see that happening, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, in many, many places, because when I was a kid, I saw Creature from the Black Lagoon at age six, and I saw sort of the beginnings of the love story there, and it ended bad for the couple. Mm -hmm. You know, they didn't end up happily ever after, and I thought, that's unfair, you know? The creature was more interesting than the guys that were in the boat, mm -hmm. you know? And, and, I, and I thought that, and then <clears throat> really the, the last um, decade or so for me, uh, as an immigrant, you, you feel the tension in the air about division, you know? And it's, it's now very manifest, but it's been brewing for decades, really, for, if not more. And it's because I think... Um, Right now we are forgetting about just immigration. We are in a place in our culture where hatred and fear are main parts of the discourse, you know, of every day. So if we wake up to the worst news about the worst possible uh, things in the world, you know, uh, in the intimate place of our work, in the political arena, in the religious arena, massacres here, you know, and we realize, I realize as a storyteller that uh, we've come to the point in which if we have the inception of an ideology, we can make anyone believe anything about anyone. You know, like, like we can, we are at a point in which we reduce people to one, one word. It can be immigrant, it can be about the race, it can be about religion, mm -hmm. and we make them invisible. And we, make, we make them silent. And we can beat them, kill them, deport them, arrest them, with complete uh, insensitivity to to our souls, you know? Mm -hmm. that ideologies are the only thing that allows a human being to beat another human being. Mm -hmm. Without that, you can't. Because at the end of the day, I think that a lot of people are normal human beings. But if you insert the ideology, most people can. The movies with Fox Searchlight, um, I think it's probably the only, well, one of the mind, may, um few studios you can do this kind of movie with because some studios will look at you like, really? You're going to make this movie? Because it's such a mix of genres. It's, it's yeah. so independent. Yeah. Right? Where the, was that they always... Uh, the, I, think, I, th I think that the, the, the movies I do are not easy to pitch. Mm -hmm. you know, they're always difficult, but that's fine. You know, look, I, I, I do what I do and I've been doing it for 25 years. And all those 25 years led me to this movie. And I went to one studio and one studio only, and that was Searchlight, because Alejandro told me he had such a great time with Birdman. He said, this is the place you got to go. And I went. That's the only, but that's why I had the model. Mm -hmm. That's why I had the drawings of the sets, the apartment, the lab. I wanted to show them how the movie was going to look. Mm -hmm. And that's why I had a piece of the screenplay and a, a complete beat sheet of the entire structure. And then... And the conversation was, how much? And they said 19.5. Did they want to scratch something at one point or not? Or did they no. just want to give you complete so freedom, right? Yeah. Somebody here from yeah. Switzerland? Absolute freedom. So you've... 100%. I mean, I've been free since 1997. Mm -hmm. After Mimic, I've been free completely. Nobody has ever made me do nothing in my life. But I work best at complete freedom. Mm -hmm. And this was complete freedom. Movies have saved my life several times in my biography. Like really points in which I don't know what the world is about and a movie comes on TV or I go to a theater and I see a movie and I come out with tears streaming down my face and, and I say, life is good, you know? And, that's, and that has not happened only with great movies. It happens with small movies with a Mexican melodrama, with Pedro Infante. It can happen with a great musical. It can happen with Brazil, Terry Gilliam. But that's cinema, not great cinema, any cinema. You know, when I was a kid, we used to go to the theater to see what was playing. Vamos al cine a ver qué están dando. And you entered, you entered, 
you went into the cinema, you didn't know what the fucking movie started. <laughs> you said, we're going to eat and then go to... And you ended at 3.15 and the movie was 15 minutes to the ending. It ended and then you stayed until it started again. Yeah, yeah. Said, ah, I understand. It. And that's, I didn't want to make it an homage to great cinema. That's why it's not meta. If it was meta, the camera would go through the floor and we see Citizen Kane mm -hmm. or Singing in the Rain or a masterpiece. Mm -hmm. But what I want to say is, no. Cinema saves your life no matter how humble cinema is sometimes, you know? So uh, it, is, it is the idea that... And it's also... Uh, she has no voice, right? Mm -hmm. So I need to tell you how she thinks, by how she looks, how she acts, how she behaves but also by what she's made of. She dreams of water. She eats foods that are processed mm -hmm. in water, boiled. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She pleasures herself in water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she, all day long, she's listening to cinema. Mm -hmm. yeah. Through the floorboards. Mm -hmm. All day long, all night. Because it says all day and all night, mm -hmm. you know? All day long, all night long, she goes to sleep with the same. She has to put her little things on the, on her head, you know, to go to sleep because the the movie is playing all day, and that tells you how her mind works. She she sees a, a dancing number, she comes out and tries the the tap dance, you know. She dances with her friend in the sofa. That's where she is, you know. Scratches on Elisa's neck. Gills. Yeah. That came Gills? from that came from yeah that came from Sally's uh, story. Oh. Sally was writing a story about a woman that turns into a fish. Oh, okay. And I said, uh, I had the idea that they, they jumped in the water and he carried her. And that's it. And then uh, uh, Sally said to me, I'm writing a story about a woman that turns into a fish and she has scars and mm -hmm. they turn out to be gills. And I said, mm -hmm. that's the ending of the movie. Yeah.